Today I want to talk a little bit about support issues and things you can do or you know places you can look for um, support and whatnot in the community. Um, it's warm. Ugh. Um, the thing is, I had a doctor's appointment a couple days ago, and you know, on the counter, and while I'm in the exam room waiting for her, one thing that caught my eye was this brochure: Oncology, Oncology. I cannot talk today. Oncology on Canvas, and what it is. And here go the glasses again. Share your journey, express your feelings on a canvas, and include a short story to share. Inspire other patients, family, survivors, and medical staff through similar journeys. And so basically, um, you go and you paint. You kind of like paint your feelings. And um, canvas, art supplies, food and refreshments provided. And it doesn't give a cost, but uh, there must be a cost because they're providing art supplies. So, but, you know, this is what initially caught my eye. I'm not an artist. My mother was a fantastic artist. I did not get any of those genes. My daughter didn't get those genes. My granddaughter got them all. They, like, bypassed two generations. My granddaughter is uber fantastic. But, um, so, but this is something that caught my eye so I started kind of like nosing around all the other little brochures and stuff um, they had one it's it's actually a catalog but it's put out by the American Cancer Society it's called TLC and your doctor may have this your oncologist may have this in his or her office and it's wigs and prosthetics um, the wigs for me, they're a little high end. Um, you know, I think the cheapest one I found in here was, you know, like fifty-six dollars or something like that, um, and not my style. But they do have a lot of like the scarves. I, there's glare. Sorry, you know, it's shiny magazine kind of paper. Um, they have scarves and hats, which again are not my style, but. They might be yours, you know, or maybe you want to try something new. And let's see if I can find something, you know, different kinds of little hats and beanies and stuff. It's really hard trying to find some kind of hat or something that you can wear if you're working in an office setting. Um, I ended up wearing scarves a lot and I hated them because they just made my head hot. And there was always a knot somewhere because you had to tie them. And so, um, there are a few more on the back if you can see them. Um, they also have prosthetics. So if you've had a mastectomy and, oh, one thing on the wigs, where is it now? Now I have to find it, but I saw it in here. They show you how to measure your head. <laughs> um, so, oh, and they do carry the Raquel Welch wigs too. So, oh, I like that long hair. Mm. But two hundred and fifty-five dollars. Mm. But they do have the prosthetics. They have them built in, as well as the ones you can slip into bras. And let's see, anything else? Um, they also have the bra prosthetics, um, or just bras, I guess. Um, so that was another thing that I found. And you can probably go online for TLC, tlcdirect.org. And another one. Now, it's a guide to living with multiple multiple myeloma. However, there are some articles in here that kind of cross over and apply. Um, inspirational stories. And let's see, there's one, it talks about 
Um, where is it now? I should have bookmarked these. Um, we're living our best life despite MM. And, you know, it's like just little things. Pay no attention to statistics. Um, talk about your diagnosis with loved ones and co-workers. Accept help. Just kind of overall things that really cross over. Um, then there's a little, there was in this one, there's a little thing on exercise. And get your pet back, which drew me because of, you know, the dog on the beach. So, but things like pace yourself, um, get sound sleep, book me time. Learn a new hobby, drink plenty of fluids, indulge in massage. Wouldn't we all love that? Yeah. Um, nutrition tips, there's some recipe, you know. So, and then there was one I found, which this one is specific to Kaiser, but it's called Caring Connections Breast Cancer Peer Navigator Program. And actually, it looks like maybe it's specific to Oahu and Maui. Um, there might be other Kaisers that have this, though. Um, and what does a peer navigator do? Provides emotional support, helps with problem solving, arranges social support, and links to community and treatment center resources. A peer, a peer navigator cannot make decisions for you about treatment options. Okay. But the program is you're matched with a peer navigator who best fits your needs. So it's not like they just give you a phone number and you're, you know, it, it's not like Tinder. It's, <laughs> I, I guess I kind of liken it to the, the Boys and Girls Club program, you know, like the Big Brother, Big Sister programs. Um, she will call you so you can get to know her. And she can support you by calling you, going to doctor's appointments and treatments, or just chatting over coffee. So basically, it's like getting a new friend. Um, I've never kind of been one to reach out to things like this, but there, I know that there are a lot of people who do. And so I thought that was interesting. And it could be that I was given this way back when I was first diagnosed and just because it's not something I would normally look into, but um, that sounds like a really good program for a lot of people. But then when I started thinking about this and thinking about how much there really is out there, I started doing a little bit more research. I'm trying to get my research on here. Um, now, when I went to just the Kaiser website, this is just Kaiser, and just in Hawaii they have different classes and support groups for different things and I think no matter where you are you're gonna find a support group that should be easy um, you know a support group for breast cancer for cancer in general um, but then they have different classes um, Qigong for cancer patients which is like an exercise kind of thing um, kind of like Tai Chi or something I guess I, I'm not real familiar with it um, they have the Look Good, Feel Better program that originated with the American Cancer Society. Nutrition and exercise during and after cancer treatment, um, open to all cancers, but, um, then they also have something they call HEAL, Helping Ease a Loss, which is a grief support group for if you've lost someone to cancer. Or actually, I guess it's just anyone who's lost someone. Um, they have different wellness coaching courses. They have eat healthy, lose weight, quit smoking, reduce stress um, courses, or you know things geared towards chronic pain, depression, diabetes, insomnia. So your medical center is a good option. It's a good place to start. You can also go through. Your health insurance. I remember the health insurance I used to have had programs similar to this that you could sign up. Um, now, then I went to the Cancer Society specifically to their website and searched in Hawaii for different types of courses and groups that they have. They have art therapy classes, low-cost acupuncture, um, 
a group called I Can Cope, which is cancer nutrition during and after cancer treatment, which sounds like the one that they had at Kaiser. Um, a caregiver support group. So if you are either caring for someone or if you have someone caring for you, you know, either you can attend or that person can attend a support group. When my mother had Alzheimer's and my daughter and I were caring for her, we looked for a support group at the time we lived in a small town. Um, and at the time, there was no such thing. They didn't have Alzheimer's support, you know, caregiver support groups. And we were really in desperate need of one. We were at the end of our ropes, didn't know if what we were doing was right. Oh, my dog. <laughs> um, so support groups can be a lifesaver um, uh, for caregivers. Uh, you know, they can be that extra life safety line. Um, emergency pet fostering assistance. Um, then they have grief, grief support services. I don't know what's wrong with me today. After breast cancer exercise program. Legal assistance, which in Hawaii goes through Legal Aid of Hawaii. Um, I love this. Chinese Christian Cancer Support Group in Mandarin. <laughs> There's also a group that offers breast prosthesis and accessories, um, specifically provided by Coco's Lingerie Boutique. And they, um, they do low-cost... It looks like they do low cost or no cost. It might be um, fee based or income based or something. I don't know. I, I haven't looked into this any deeper than what I found here. Um, but they provide, they have post mastectomy bras, pro breast prosthesis, post surgical bras, garments, compression bras, camisoles. Um, they have a certified fitter. And they can also sew flaps into regular bras and convert them into mastectomy bras. So that's something if you have a bra you like, you don't want to give it up. You might check for somebody that can do that. So there are options out there. There are things you can do, people you can go to. If you don't actually have you know, somebody close that you either feel like you can turn to or... Um, Maybe they're just not equipped to handle what you need to deal with at that time. So, you know, check your your um, your insurance, your health insurance, to see what they offer. Check with your health clinic to see or hospital to see what they offer. Check with the American Cancer Society. Um, you know, there might be other cancer foundations in your area that might offer other things as well. So I just wanted to throw that out there and hopefully somebody can pick something up and it will help them. So if there's anything else you'd like me to talk about, please comment down below and don't forget to like the video. And if you haven't already, subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I'll talk to you later. Aloha.